Hi, this is Shelley Letwin from GV Design Canada, and I'm here to show you another video with um, Matrix. Now, one thing that isn't new to Matrix, but it's quite powerful, is our object on curve. So you can see here I put um, some stars on the side and I put some mill grain. So this ring here was actually built from, um, with Matrix 8, we have in tools a section called the Burmark Library. So I was able to nab one of these rings. And this library is great because you can go in and uh, use it as a base and then be able to make adjustments to it and literally create a new design with it. So you can see here I've got a red curve. And how the heck did I get that red curve out there? So let's just go to Curves and we're going to go to Extract ISO Curve. And with Extract ISO Curve, I just click on the surface that I want to create a curve on. And so you can see here how this little red line is just sliding over that surface. And as soon as I click on it, we'll press Enter to stop extracting. And now if I go F6, we're going to go to Object on Curve. And Object on Curve does default with um, the mill grain. You can see here there's a library here. And I'm going to show you how you can add your own design in there in on this video as well. But with the mill grain, just be mindful about it. If you're going to just, if you were going to do mill grain just as a render, you could go point, probably point three. So if all you want to do is show your customer a pretty picture that later on, after it's casted, your setter is going to go in with his uh, mill grain tool and put in your bright edge. Sorry, just grabbed the wrong handle. Okay, so now I'm going to just grab my spacing just to get these guys a little closer. Now you may not want them butted like this because again you may want a little space. It looks like gaps, but once you print it or mill it, they'll be looking like they're almost touching. Again, it's a little bit deceitful with um, when we're zoomed in this far. Um, in, in a CAD program. So if you're going to just make a sh pretty picture and then later mill grain it, go small. But if you're going to cast them, make sure that you've made these a little bit bigger, maybe at least by 0.5, but then now it's almost like granulation instead of mill grain. Also know too that when you cast the mill grain, it's dull, just like the regular metal, then It'll survive the printing, it'll survive casting, but then your polisher has to polish them to make them shiny. And if they're 0.3, they're, he's, he or she's going to annihilate them. They're going to be gone. So just be mindful that if you're going to... Um, uh, it's cool to be able to show the, the mill grain for a render. Okay, so I'll just leave it at 0.4 and then again you could quad flip or you know mirror them over to the uh, to the other side there okay so that's using objects from object on curve from the library but what if we um, well with the mill grain here I'll just quickly show you here if I go to object on curve if we don't want the mill grain there's um, oh here we could put a, a twisted link here and let's go to Culet Direction Object. Make sure you click right on an ISO curve there. Okay, now we're huge. Let's adjust our size. We'll size it down. There you go. And then we can adjust our spacing. Let's see. There you go. You can now make a twisted wire, a fake twisted wire all the way around. Isn't that nice? There you go. Okay, so that's a nice look. You'll sell that. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and press enter. Okay, now um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Let's um, highlight everything and I'm going to hide this. Okay, so we're going to make our own shape here and um, if I start with a circle at F4, hold down shift so that my line's going straight up and down. Fastest way to make a heart is to grab the upper and lower, and there you go, magic. 
and the crowd goes wild. Okay. All right. Escape twice. You can still come in here with your control points, and if you, you know, need to make this kind of, you know, a happier heart, there you go. So now I want to make this dome. The fastest way to do this is go F6 MSR. Get your viewport handles on. We'll press enter. Select the heart again. F6. Now I can choose profile cap and it will put a nice little dome on here. Okay. So I like to just in case you know, we did that. I showed you the relief, but if you want to do engraving in, uh, if you look at the back of this, this is an open surface. Okay, we'll select it. We'll mirror at F4, hold down Shift, click, select both of these guys, and join. Okay, if I go to Object Checker under Tools, I can check to make sure. Yeah, we're good. Good shell, no naked edges. Okay. So now I want to save this to the library. I'm going to increase the size of the heart in perspective. I have to be right centered in the middle of the viewport here. Uh, we'll go to File, Save Small As, and here's your path. Drive C, Program Files, x86, Matrix 8, Library on Curb. So that's your path to get into the library on the on curve ob section then we can simply name this I've already got a heart in here so let's just call it heart 2 and press enter okay so I can go ahead and delete that now let's bring back our ring here we go alright so just going to grab this curve again, F6, object on curve, out comes the mill grain, and there's our heart 2. And again, change your culet direction to object. Again, click right on one of those ISO curves there. So, yikes. Oh, he's making this guy gigantic. So, we'll just come back in with our blue arrows and The other cool thing too is like my hearts are standing straight up and down, but with a roll on this tool, you can roll it so we're at 90 degrees. And again, if you need your objects to be at a different angle or what the heck, you could, you know, rotate it this way. Oops, just having way too much fun here. There you go. Okay, so that's Object on Curve. It's an awesome tool. Um, it can take sort of a ho-hum design and just make it a little bit more interesting for your client. And uh, as I said, we are GB Design Canada. We teach Matrix Digital Goldsmith Counter Sketch in Vision Tech pro products as well. You can contact us on our website uh, at gvdesigncanada.com. Thank you for watching.